Now what we're going to do today is weld a root pass in the 1G position. Uh, my thought process on when we started doing these videos was to just go out there and if we're going to weld a 1G, just go out there and weld it. That way, if there's errors, we could uh, explain what was wrong with them, ways to fix it, things like that. I got to thinking about it and I thought, well, you know, we need to show some cold quality uh, welds, especially with the root pass. Uh, people think you're going to get a perfect root pass. It doesn't exist. As long as there's a human welding this, you're not going to have a perfect root pass. So you can just cross this off. What you're looking for is a cold quality root. So that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to start with our 1G. We're going to get a root pass in there. We're going to do a couple of plates. Uh, that way we can do different techniques on each plate. And then when we get a, a good one, we'll show you the uh, finalized product that's going to pass and, and meet code. And we're going with the 1.1 structural steel welding code here. Uh, your concavity is less than or equal to a sixteenth of an inch. So you can't have any more than a sixteenth of an inch. Your convexity is less than or equal to an eighth of an inch. And then incomplete fusion, zero. So if you have a pinhole, it's not going to pass code. So we want to go out there and get a good video of a code quality weld. So we'll get out of here. Now we're about to start on our 1G root pass here. Uh, we're using 6010 332nd of the diameter. Our machine's going to be set to stick, panel, a bunch of continuous off, that's for TIG welding, and then we're going to run it at 69 amps and direct current electropositive down here. This is our uh, first root pass on the 1G position and it's borderline. I drew those lines on there because uh, they're going to cut a half of an inch off each end of this if you're going to go into bend testing to do this for uh, a certification. And when we first started this, it was a little bit cold. This is the first one we did. And if you look right here in the beginning, You can see we froze a rod there 
and there's a little bit of a hole there. And you can see it's really close to that cutoff point. Now would an inspector take or uh, look at this and say, hey, you're, you're really close, we're going to have to deny it. It could pretty much go either way. Personally, I would think that uh, you could move it over, cut it right past it, and then move it over on the other side if you had room. That's what I would do as an inspector. If your inspector makes you redo this one, he's pretty much a prick. And you can see it's a good root pass. I mean, the rest of it's pretty much flawless. So, is that a code quality weld? Well, maybe, maybe not, depending on the inspector. It's a pretty good weld, though, and I, I would uh, have no trouble bending that. Real nice weld. We'll take a look at the second one here. All right, this is the second one that we did. And this one just came out real nice. Inspector's going to look at this and say, go ahead and bend it. That's code quality weld. No concavity more than a sixteenth of an inch. Your convexity is just a little bit. It's a little bit greater than zero, not even close to eighth of an inch. Uh, no lack of fusion. So our next one we're going to go on to is going to be our uh, 2G horizontal weld. We're going to do the same thing. We'll do a couple plates. So hopefully we can get a good video shot. It's really hard to get video shots of this. So uh, thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld, and we'll get on to that horizontal for the next video.